Hello, Paula. Hello to Barbados. Hey, Julia. Thank you for having me. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Thank you. Hope you're well as well. I am. Thanks so much. Okay. So we are here talking about Winspiration Movement, Winspiration Day, 7th of May. So um, why did you join Winspiration Movement and also became a global host? Yeah, I first got introduced to the concept of Winspiration. It feels like a year and a half ago, and it was via an email from Bob Proctor. And I subscribe to his emails because it's all about personal development, reaching your potential. And that's the same message that comes with Winspiration. So I saw that, you know, do you want to be a part of something bigger? You know, are you feeling drawn to, you know, creating your best self and helping others to do the same? And it's a type of message um, that resonated with me. And I was like, oh, you can be a global host as well. So this will be something very beneficial for a small island like Barbados. You know, everybody can work on their mindset. But sometimes when you come from such a small place, sometimes you feel like there are certain things that limit you. And I thought if I could get that message to more people who lived here, that it would be like a positive force um, to inspire us to be even better um, than we are. So global hosts are... Um, planning their own events in their area. So what are you planning on 7th of May? Sure, it's a combination of things. And um, we may start with a church service. Um, you know, church and that type of thing is quite important to people here. Uh, so we will probably do that in the morning of the 7th. And in the evening, I'm having, planning to have um, a little workshop and probably the lighten ceremony. Um, just trying to verify the venue. We also did a radio interview when Mr. Sonnenberg was in Barbados. So I am going to discuss with the um, radio station what we can do together because uh, Vic Fernandes, who's the owner of the station, he thought it was a fantastic idea and we did discuss working together. So I'm just trying to put some things together as we speak. But whatever we do, it's going to be an exciting and interesting event. <laughs> so why is it important for you to bring people together and celebrate together this special day? The thing about it is that you are doing it all over the world where global hosts are. Um, and I think there's some synergy when people come together to focus on something. And of course, that will grow and cause a ripple effect. And I'm hoping for really positive change um, and hope that people can see that they can reach their full potential. There are other people in the world who are doing the exact same thing. Um, so that's one of the main reasons that I've decided to do that event. And if you hear the word Winspiration, what comes up in your mind? Actually, when I first heard it, I was like, eh, this is, what is this? <laughs> um, but when I broke it down, it was like winning and inspiration. So these are two positive words. And what else can we want in a world apart from people who are inspired and people who are winning, as in win-win relationships? So that's what comes to mind when I think about inspiration, you know, hope and positivity and connection and all those positive words that you can, you know, think about. Wow, that's amazing. So I'm really looking forward to connect all the global hosts all around the world and having you all on live stream um, with the main event in LA this year. So we'll be all connected around the world. That's great. Yeah, I'm super excited about that to see what other people are doing and how they interpret, you know, the inspiration and stuff like that. So I'm really excited. I'm really looking forward to that. Thank you very much, Paula, for doing what you're doing. Oh, no, my pleasure. Thank you for getting the message, you know, to this part of the world.